All right. Um, if you, you might notice that in when I tell stories about my father, I'm kind of biased against him because he was quite lazy. My mother used to pick on him because he was lazy. He used to figure out ways to get me to do his jobs. Uh, and he would complain a lot about certain things and never look for a solution. But he did find a solution one time. And uh, he had a problem with line cords. And he used to make them crazy. He, he liked an electric lawnmower until he got his first gas one and realized how much faster it was. Well, anyway, he would complain that he had to wrap up a line cord. Now, our line cord for our lawnmower, it had to be 50 foot. And at one point, he had it all taped up because he would run it over. And I worked at a place across the street called Willway. We had uh, real large spools of uh, three-conductor wire. Looks like extension wire. And I went and bought two Hubble plugs. And I'd walk across there. And I'd go in there when the boss was there, or the guy that owned it. And I'd go over and I'd take off 100 feet of uh, cord. And I'd put a Hubble, a Hummel, a Hummel, a Hubble, or a Hummel. Well, anyway, there's Hubble and there's Hummel. Hummel is... Hummels, Hummels are um, those knick-knack things, and the Hubble, I believe, is the real high-end uh, plugs. Well, anyway, and I make my dad up a, a new line cord, and then uh, he, he would wrap it up, and uh, he, he'd complain how heavy it was, and the whole, the whole thing over and over and over, every time. he That's the one thing he realized, he wouldn't realize how many times he would tell you the same story. And I worry about that when I, when I do these videos, that maybe I told you a story too many times. It's, it's part of aging. But anyway, uh, I bought him this line cord at one time. It's those the bright yellow ones, bright orange. And there's three wires next to each other. And they tend to twist. And when they twist, they get shorter. Okay? So, at that point, my father was complaining that the line cord wasn't as long as it used to be. When he would get done, he would untwist it. And at some point one of these showed up now this is a miniature version now like i, I want to tell you this is the t one t time my father brought something into the house that was totally a holy crap okay now this can hang up now i'm going to show you how this works this is a miniature one they come in much larger sizes they come in a size that'll hold a hundred foot extension cord okay now you, you can put this together so many different ways but in other words this little hook here, that's what you do, all right? Now, a lot of times you could wrap it up the other way, and then you could use this to feed out as much as you want. But in other words, when you're done, the other end of this, hopefully, hooks, okay? So there's your line cord. But picture ones that hold 100 foot. Now, my father would use it all the time. The big one. I, I'm not going to do the big one. This is just for demo purposes. Uh, and the other neighbors were always complaining to me. And I'd watch them wrapping up a 100 foot line or a 50 foot line. And uh, I would go buy these and give them as gifts. But none of them would ever use it. They would constantly stay locked in old time. Okay. Now my father would bring something modern home once in a while. Which was, would, this was an example. And the other men in the neighborhood, if you bought them one of these and showed them what it was for and put the, put the line cord on it, the next time you saw them, the line cord would not be on this thing and they would not use it. They, they will bitch and moan about how a line cord gets tangled up, but they won't take the solution. Okay? And oh, and notice there's an eye right here. This is to hang it up. And in my shed, I have two of these hanging up. Uh, one's a 25 footer and one's a 50 footer. Okay, and it's, it's on each end That little eye uh, hook for a screw you put a screw up there and all you do is you put you put it on there and uh, Drop it down. Okay, and that's that's a, one of the things my father did do correctly and um, I Still have this one. Okay, actually and I got two out in the shed, but it's amazing You listen to these old men and I'm an old man now they complain about a certain thing and there's a solution out there and then when you give them the solution they refuse to use it okay because they want to tell that story now we had several people in the neighborhood that had 10 stories 
they would tell the same 10 stories over and over. This is very common amongst old men. Uh, they can't remember names as they get older. So they have these 10 stories that they know by heart. Uh, psychologically and chemistry-wise of the brain, these are called overlearned stories. Even if a person becomes senile, they can still tell these 10 stories. All right? And they will. And if you trigger that one of those 10 stories, they'll tell the story and they won't be able to stop themselves. You could say 10 times, you told me that before. You told, And they'll just keep right on telling that story. And they have to tell that story until they finish it. Okay? Now, the one guy I gave one of these to, uh, I went down in the cellar with him. And I pointed it out. The rat, the, one of these was sitting up there without the wire on it. He says, you know, he says, I got that somewhere. He says, I don't know what that's for. And that's when I started learning that uh, a lot of men, when they get older, they become really a type of senile. Not totally senile, but if you introduce any new tools to them, they'll use it, put it away, and never realize they actually have it. And uh, if you're with, working with them, you'll see them take out a box of tools, and they'll pick that tool up, and it'll bother them. It's like... There's a syndrome with older people where they, they see their hand and they feel like it's somebody else's hand. They, they, they're, they're so far gone that they realize that there's a hand there, but they don't realize it's theirs. Okay? And then I've watched this. And they're, they're holding the tool up. And not my. And then I always told you, I can actually rem remember when the person got that. And I'll start telling them, you, got, you bought that for such and such project. I was helping you with it. They look at me like I was freaking crazy. Okay, I used to get that look all the time. I, I, I would say I had a really great memory. I'm not going to say that anymore. Um, I don't know how much mine is diminishing. When I talk and do these videos, there's certain words I screw up. And when I'm saying them, I don't catch it anymore. Okay, but I just wanted to show you, uh, you know, even if you have a solution to a problem, some people will not accept the solution. And that totally pisses me off. Okay, like I said, I was giving these things away as gifts, and they didn't want to use them. Okay, but they would bitch and moan about the line cord. I would stand there, watch them wrap the line cord up for their lawnmower, and they're complaining to me. That's like they go buy a black line cord and then run it over. And I say, that's why they come out with the yellow ones. Well, the yellow ones uh, were had three wires alongside each other, and they would twist, and they get shorter. And then later on. Uh, I started buying regular line cords uh, for the lawnmower, and they were orange, but they were regular, uh, what would you call a line cord, um, uh, extension cord. They weren't that fancy three-wire three, three wire ones. Now, you're probably saying three-wire ones. What are you talking about? You can actually look at the, at the wire and see the three wires next to each other. And this one kid next door to me, uh, he ran one over one day, and... Uh, I was like, how do you run over a bright orange? But he did. And I told him to uh, unplug the cord. Instead, he shut the, he shut the uh, lawnmower off at the, uh, at the lawnmower. It was an electric lawnmower. He goes, that'll do it. I said, no. That, that shuts the lawnmower off. But now you got a, you got a cut wire laying on the ground in wet grass. And he, he didn't get that. Well, anyway, I was amazed at that. He didn't have the concept of, you know, you shut the lawnmower off, and you got a wire you just ran over, and you touch that wire you can get a shock and and the lawnmower is off but the lawnmower is no longer connected to the wire because you ran the wire over that's where he I was like I was like amazed I'm standing there and I'm realizing this guy thinks because he shut the lawnmower switch off he could pick the wire up off the ground but the wire on the ground is no longer touched attached to the lawnmower because he cut it up and then I went in and I got one of my line cords and gave it to him so he could finish up and then he went out and bought his father a new uh, a new line cord or um, uh, extension cord but I've seen it all man and I was just thinking about it. I didn't even know if I still had this one this little one but you can't you can't fix stupid you can't you can't change old people I work really hard myself accepting change and I don't like it and I bitch and moan but I accept it eventually where other people in my neighborhood they refuse to accept it. And we have people here now, they, we, they pick up the recyclables every other week, okay? If there's a holiday, the garbage shifts over one day. Well, they can't, 
They can't do, remember that. And they put their recyclables out every single week, even though they come every other week, because they can't remember what week they're in. And you watch this, and they're younger. And when they talk, they're like, yeah, this guy here, he's slipping. No, you've already slipped. And it's so funny. I stand there, I'm like, oh, my God. And I know that I've slipped, and I can tell I'm slipping. And I've been reading up on aging, and one of the things is uh, your, attention, your attention span goes, uh, your, your vocabulary levels off. You don't learn any new words. You don't use any new words. Uh, there's so many things chemically that happen in your brain. Uh, you, can't, you can't diagnose something as fast. Uh, you can't make decisions as fast. I accepted all this stuff. And then my father would not acknowledge it was happening to him. Well, I acknowledge it's happening to me. I'll tell someone when I'm talking, I'll say, hold on, I forgot the word. Or hold on, I forgot the guy's name. And I say brain feed, freeze. And my one neighbor, uh, he basically got mini strokes and he went senile that way. He didn't have Alzheimer's. And he used to say it was called a senior moment. And me and him would have senior moments. You're talking about someone and you can't remember the last name. And you stop and you wait a second and your brain catches up. And now you know the person's last name, okay? And me and him, he, he taught me to acknowledge aging, okay? And unfortunately, he, he, he had a bunch of strokes, and I lost him. Mentally, I lost him. When I left, when I left my house, he, he still sort of knew who I was. It was awful. But I just wanted to show you this. You know, you may have never seen one of these before, but when you put this uh, line cord away, not only can you hang it up, okay? Uh, the, the next time you use it, you just unwrap it. And then you can set this up where you have a couple turns for the plug, and you plug it in, and then you can un, unreal um, the amount of distance you need to go to your, your hand tool. And they do make reels, big, heavy. When you have that reel, that reel's heavy, and you put a line cord, 100, you're not going to be able to hold that up in the air when you're turning that. This is super light. And this is the way to go. And like I said, when I saw this with my father, he's showing it to me. I'm like, holy crap. But he did walk around in stores and look at new items. And if the price point was like $1.75, he'd give it a try. And then he bought this one and he bought the other ones. And then I bought, I actually bought a few more. And like I said, I was giving them away to people that complained to me. But they never used it. They see, like I said... Uh, certain people just like to keep complaining. I complain a lot, but as I'm complaining, I'm trying to find solutions. Where other people, they just keep complaining. And if you give them the solution, they don't want the solution. They want to complain because they don't like getting old. Uh, and, and getting old, you, you, if you, re you read up on it, you, you, like I told people, the first thing you notice is you walk past a basketball court and you reach a certain age and you know if you go out there and shoot a few baskets, your rotator cuff rotator cuff in your in your shoulder is going to be screaming the next day you might get bursitis in your shoulder okay but when you're walking by that basketball court you remember how you used to be out there and you didn't have the extra weight on your body and you'd shoot baskets and you'd get all sweaty you come home take a shower and sit and relax and yeah, yeah that 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 goes away okay there's so many things you no longer can do as an old person now I'm 70 years old I go outside and um, I have to stand in the shade. If I don't stand in the shade, uh, I, I, my heart starts getting, uh, it'll start palpitating. Uh, the, the, my body becomes like overheat, it starts to overheat. Your, uh, your ability to stay warm and to cool off when you get older diminishes a lot. And you go out on a really cold day, and I have special gloves. You go out on a cold day and your hands get cold like right away. And younger people don't even have gloves on. And then the other thing is you overheat like really bad. You got to be careful about that. And it's not dehydration. You're just overheating. Okay. You know, say, well, if you keep drinking fluids, no. Those warnings uh, on the different uh, weather pages, they're telling you if you're older or have a heart condition, don't go outside. Okay. And on top of that, there's ozone in the air, which... Uh, messes up your lungs so you don't get the amount of oxygen transfer which your heart needs so there's a it's a double whammy but I just wanted to show you this and you probably say man I want wrap, wrap that line cord up and 
you see the guys, like I would see them, you know, screaming at the thing. You know, they're out on the front lawn. And that's the other thing. As you get older, you have your, your patience gets shorter. And I go in the house and get one. And I go over and I, here, here, and I wrap it up on the thing for them. I show them how it works. And a week, a week or so later, they got the line cord outside and the rack isn't there. Okay? Uh, they, don't want, they don't want the solution. They want to piss and moan, show their wife how hard it is out there instead of having a solution. Like I said, my father bought one of these home. I looked at it and went, wow, that's a great idea. Think about it. This probably costs 50 cents for the company to make. And then they sell it for $1.50. That's what you want to do. That's the way it works. I think that's it. All right, that's it.